Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christical Artistry. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, if you watch my videos on a regular basis, you know that the last two videos were actually repeat videos of previous videos. Um, and that is because on my last video, I mentioned that um, we were, my husband and I were going to be going down to Mayo Clinic for a procedure. So we did go down to Mayo Clinic on uh, Wednesday, and I'm not sure what day you're going to see this video. So I'm just going to say um, middle, middle of August, we were down at Mayo, and we had gotten there on Wednesday. We, he had some tests in the morning. He had some tests in the afternoon on Wednesday, and then his procedure was um, Thursday um, afternoon. It was in uh, where you don't stay. They do the procedure and they send you home. So we traveled back home here, and um, everything was going great on on uh, Thursday night. Slept good, had his medication. Um, everything was going well. I got up. I uh, worked from home on Friday, and um, that's when things took a turn for the worse, unfortunately, and he um, ended up going back. Um, I had to leave work and uh, take him to the emergency room on Friday afternoon. From Friday afternoon uh, through about 1 a.m., we stayed in the emergency room because they had no beds for him to um, actually be admitted to the hospital, which is what needed to happen. Um, so he was admitted to the hospital. Finally, at like 1 a.m., he got a room. He um, stayed in the hospital, uh, so Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. And he hates being in the hospital, so every day he wanted to go home, he wanted, you know, take this, these things out, get me out of here, blah, blah, blah. Um, so finally, on Sunday afternoon, he was able to be released home on, you know, rest. Um, and uh, we basically had to, you know, watch him, make sure the bleeding was under control, and make sure that everything was now moving in that right direction again. So here we are the next weekend, and... Um, Things are looking better. We did get the test results uh, during this past week from Mayo Clinic and he does have cancer. Um, the cancer is um, in one area, it hasn't spread, um, and we are going um, a week from today to have a discussion about what are his options. We know from a discussion with Mayo Clinic that the options out there are um, radiation, chemo, and surgery. Um, so the, the, that's what we're going to be discussing this in a week, um, this next Friday, at his um, in-town doctor. So Mayo Clinic is basically kind of done done right now um, and, and whatever is decided whether it's radiation uh, chemo or surgery um, looks like we're hoping chemo is off the table and the radiation um, and surgery are the options but we don't know yet so um, that's our next uh, path or next decision making so um, again I put up a couple of videos so that I can keep you guys um, interested while we dealt with this situation um, so yeah so please keep us in your thoughts and prayers and um, I'm gonna get to tonight's video so I thought what I would do tonight is show you what I do when a pour doesn't turn out um, normally I scrape them but once in a while I don't know that they haven't turned out until they dry and I see them the next morning because I let my paintings dry overnight. I put them under a um, covered screen so that I don't get bugs and things in them if, you know, like flies come in the house or whatever. Um, so I'm going to show you this canvas, what happened to it, try to remind you of what painting it was supposed to be because it was beautiful, it's not now, and then show you what we're going to do to um, 
reuse this canvas. So give me a second, I'm gonna bring the camera down and we'll get started. So I'll be right back. All right, so if you remember back not that long ago, I did a video number 175 called Black and Blue. And um, the painting was quite spectacular until it dried. And here's what happened when it dried. So, um, actually it went this way, so let me show you that. So when we did the painting, this portion right here was really pretty. It went up the way it was supposed to. This was, was pretty nice. Um, it was kind of up like this. But unfortunately, during the drying period, this all ran. So this caused the running to buckle all this up and push all this beautiful stuff off the canvas. And so this should have all been down here and some of this um, also ran off the canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to reuse this canvas tonight and I'm just going to show you what we do. So I have it this way because it levels better this way. They do get kind of warped when they've dried um, and I did have this standing up for a while. So what I'm going to do is I am going to now cover it back up in black. All right, so my filler bottle of my black and as long as you haven't sealed this there shouldn't be any issue with covering it back up with black um, there are some um, coppers and things in here and um, I'm going to be using some metallics again so it, the, the putting of the second coat on here should not cause any of these old colors to pop through the canvas so our black again. I'm going to use my spatula to smooth the paint out, making sure that I cover all of the old paint. And when the paint dries, it's a smooth surface, so I don't have to worry about it being bumpy or, or pitted or anything um, because this painting did dry flat. Um, I've had a couple paintings where they ran and they actually um, left layers of paint. I still have one that I think I, I, yeah, I'd shown you guys and I am actually using it as a test canvas for my um, ear gun. So I've been doing a lot of playing around with uh, paint in an ear gun for some of those space paintings. And for those of you that have been waiting for the space paintings, I do apologize. With everything that's been going on, I just have not um, been able to get back to them. I'm learning that new technique, and it does take me a while, and I just don't have the time. But I will show you all of them once they are done. So bear with me. In the meantime, I hope you're enjoying my Dutch pours and some of the other little crazy paintings that I threw in there in between. All right, so I have um, a good layer on here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bead across the top so that I have good flow down, down the side to cover my sides, down the bottom, and up the other side. Again, I want the flow down to match. So there we go. Now we'll let that run down. I'm going to do my paint and there we go. So we'll rub this in and we'll have our flow as well um, that will go down the sides. So I'm not too concerned about it. There wasn't a lot of color that did go on the sides, just down here and then the section up here. Here that haven't filled in. 
we're going to want to make sure that we add more paint to those areas. And then they'll, they'll even themselves out. section right there and this is pretty good all right now let's torch the bubbles now we'll talk about our colors for tonight and I have a lot of bubbles because I did just shake that paint up since it's set for a while. paint that's on here and the paint that we're going to be adding, those will um, level themselves out. So let's clean off the spatula. This OXO spatula is so nice that I try my best to keep it wiped off and then I'll wash it of course because I don't want my equipment to have to be replaced on a regular basis. All right, so as I said, I'm going to be using some metallics tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, my nose is just running. Um, and I recently purchased, that's what I'm looking for. I re recently purchased um, some additional paint and then remixed. And I wanted to use some of those. Because I want to use metallics on here tonight. I just dropped a little fuzzy in there. So I have my Splendid Gold. I'm not going to use the old gold. I'm going to use Splendid Gold versus 24 Karat. And I want to use my Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue because I love that color. I also have another turquoise I wanted to use. Oh, here it is. So I mixed up, um, I hadn't used these in a while, so I mixed up the Peacock Pearl um, and the Aquamarine um, for that painting that just came out. And I haven't painted in two weeks, so I'm forgetting things. Um, but I want to use these as well because I like the metallics in there. And I dropped another thing in there. And then I was thinking what would look nice with gold and um, these kind of teal aquas. And I kind of was trying to think of like a standout color or should I more go for a blended um, turquoise or blue type? Because I could just use like turquoise green um, or I could go with iridescent um, turquoise, which is, you know, kind of lighter. This is more green, this is more light. But I kind of think I want to use something that's really going to stand out. So I'm thinking um, that I may try, I mean, what do you think about this? Thalo, thalo yellow green with the cobalt and the turquoise with gold. Two green, two blue, I'm not sure. So that's one choice. And I'm winging it tonight, as you can see, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna even get to paint tonight. Um, this is a lighter version. I could use the, um, I forgot how you say it, Chrysoberyl Green from Oahu. That's kind of pretty. I kind of like that better. I think that's what we're going to do. I think this is too shockingly green. Um, and I have some of this, but I don't have enough. So I think we're going to go with this. This is, uh, it's called Chrysoberyl Green. It's kind of like a celery. But I think it would go good with this. So that's what we're going to try tonight. All right, so we've got our colors on, and now we are going to 
decide what we're going to do. I could do a traditional Dutch pour again, but I think that would be kind of uh, a waste since we're, you know, experimenting. Excuse me. Since we're experimenting with this canvas and reusing it, I think we should try. I think we should do a Dutch pour, but I think we should add a sprig on it this time. So I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to add a sprig up to the here. Because again, we want to cover some of this. We want to use this, but we want to have some white space still. So let's try that. Um, so the first color I am going to use is I'm going to use this uh, Chrysa Barrel as our base color and then we can add it in again as we want, but this will be then our shadowing color on the outside. Okay, so let's do that. So here we go. Whoop. All right. So again, this is kind of the Chrysa, Chrysa Barrel, I think it's called. Um, yeah, Pearl. So this is my Pearl, and I'm gonna give it a good amount because again, I want it to shadow these other colors. So that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna use the other colors as accents in that green. So our next is our metallic cobalt blue. Love this color. And again, sometimes I think these out ahead of time and sometimes I just say, you know what? I wanna paint tonight. I want a video and I want to see what happens. And what happens is sometimes your jars are clogged. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't get that open. There we go. Let's see. There we go. So this one is the aquamarine, um, metallic aquamarine. So it's a lighter of the turquoise. It's really pretty. And then I'm only going to use a little bit of the Peacock Pearl because I think we've got a lot of metallic going on here. And this one again is another dark one. So I don't want it to take away from my cobalt blue. But I love Peacock Pearl with aqua, aqua, aqua marines. I can't talk to All right, so now we're going to use our Splendid Gold by DecoArt. And that's because it's a nice bright gold. Clog in there. Yep. Appears to be a clog in the bottle. Which sometimes happens. Let's see, there we go. Let's see if we can get it out of there. Nope, all I do is bring it back up again. Alright, let's. Yeah, look at that. This is what happens when you're not home for a while and your paints get get a little globby. Sometimes they can do that. All right, let's pull them here. There. All right, I got the club out. There we go. All right. So let's finish this up. This has already kind of sunk in, the gold has sunk in, which is fine. And I'm not gonna add too much because again, I want this Chrysa Barrel, um, and yes, I'm probably saying it wrong, so if you know how to say it, let me know. Um, I think it um, will look pretty as an accent. So here's the word. And I know this is a rock, so that's why I'm saying Chrysa Barrel because I know that barrel is also a rock because I'm a rock nut. Um, and so I believe that's how that's pronounced, but don't quote me. Okay, clean up some of the leftovers here and let's torch these bubbles in here and see what happens. Now I'm getting rid of the bubbles and I'm encouraging cells to form within the metallics. Alright, 
let's blow this one out and see what we end up with. Um, what is plugged in today? Which one do I have plugged in? Oh, I actually have my compressor plugged in, so we're going to unplug that and we are going to go, let's go with the flower. Let's try the flower dryer tonight. We'll get smaller petals. All right, here we go. Okay, did you guys notice what happened here? This little booger here drug through my paint and made a mess. So I'm going to drizzle ever so lightly some more of this gold in here. So I'm going to add a little bit of my green back because I'm, I lost a lot of my green here too. So we have gold green and I think we'll use the aqua marine over here. And I'm just gonna blow this out to finish that corner because that little that little glob drove through there and kind of ruined the beauty of that. So I'm gonna do this again. See? Easy. Fix that section. I love what's popping here and what happened here. This is really pretty. I like these colors together. And I love using a black background with these colors because it just makes them like pop and they're pearls and um, metallics and they just shimmer. So there's going to be some, some additional things happening in here, here, and along this pedal and this pedal. Hopefully I can control this one and it doesn't fall off. This one does need to be blown out slightly, so I'm going to do that. Um, the Chrysler Barrel that I thought was going to be like the massive outline really took a wonderful back seat to some of these pearls and aquamarines, these deco arts. I love just the colors and the shimmer that's happening in here. So many cells over here. So let me grab the camera, look at this right now. And then watch what happens in a few minutes when these finish popping up. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow this one out a little bit more because I lost this corner, but I will be right back. All right, so here is our painting for tonight. Beautiful. Now I've already scraped the edges to make sure that I can control what's sliding off. Um, I scraped. The edge up here as well, but I think I'm going to end up with some of that going over the edge, even though I don't want it to. And look what happened here. Look at just in that time, all this has popped out, all this has finished popping out, and then this is still kind of working on it. Look right here. And then over here, this little lone one started popping here. And then we'll go over here. And these popped out, but they kind of stopped now. So I'm not sure if we're going to get anything. I mean, I can see the paint, but it might be too thick. So we'll, we'll give that a little bit more time and see what happens. But I just love all the cells that are right in here. So I'm going to take you down closer so you can see them. Isn't they pretty? These crazy cells. It almost looks like a turtle or alligator skin. Lizard. One of them reptiles. 
And then one of my favorite sections, doesn't have a lot of cells, but the shimmer is this section right here, that corner that we fixed. Look at all the pearl and the, and the metallic in there. It's just, sh just shimmering already. Beautiful. And then I love, you know, how this whole thing came together. It's really beautiful. So there we have it. So let me know what you think about the color palette using the Chrysoberyl green and then all of the turquoise and the, and the splendid gold versus the 24 or the old gold or anything. So you tell me what you think about the painting and um, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, please. And until our next video, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for hanging in there with me. And um, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other.